Okay, today we're looking at how to connect and manipulate things in Actor Director using an LDAP tool. Hey there, this is Tom with Tom's Tech Show, and today often I have to connect to and manipulate Active Directory, and since Active Directory is LDAP compliant, I can I don't have to use the regular Microsoft AD tools. Um, I can just use a LDAP tool. So here we have um, a tool called LDAP Admin. It's a free tool. Um, if I look at this connection, I can look at these connections here, say properties. Um, so I have this set as admin, an admin connection. So my host, we have to enter a few things. My host is my AD DNS server, my DNS server. Um, we need to set the base that we're looking for. So we can, if we click fetch DNS, then it can, will come up with uh, all the different ones that are here. Configuration, schema, four zones, domain zones. But right now we want to deal with just the base root. Um, and then I put in my username, password, and then it will connect and bring things back. Okay. Well, I have two, the, two of them here. One is just the basic user. So let's connect using that. Okay. So if I go into, so it gives me kind of the tree, uh, the LDAP tree of, of the things that are in Active Directory as an LDAP, as LDAP objects. So here I can open the container users, and then I can look at, say, the container administrator. And I can say edit. So this is all, so all of the values that are in the panel when you, when you bring up Active Directory and you open this panel, all the settings that are here are listed in this LDAP list. So we have, this just, it goes on and on and on. There's tons and tons of settings. And if we get down to the bottom, go to the end here down at the bottom, I can try and add one now or edit one. So I can go come up here, say uh, middle name. So put in a middle name like that. And since, and try and save it. Since this is logged in only as a basic user, I don't have rights to do it. So there's security here that's you know keeping me from editing or changing anything because I logged in with just my basic standard user. Okay, so let's disconnect here. Let's reconnect with my admin user. Say okay. And I get my tree of values back. Let's come down here to my user. Let's click uh, edit entry and we're going to go down to the bottom and here there's this new well I can type in something like proxy and put a proxy address into this uh, user typically a proxy address is an exchange thing when you have uh, more than one email address like maybe I have Thomas at Tom's Tech Show, Tom at Tom's Tech Show, Thomas Nelson at Tom's Tech Show you would enter those as proxies so I can put in SMTP, you have to tell it what kind of proxy it is. And I can say Tom, Tom's tech show .com. Okay. I can add another one. These each get added on an individual line. Now, if I type SMTP in caps, this is just an exchange thing, but if you type that in caps, then that's going to be the main primary address when this connects, when this is synchronized with exchange, just, just kind of a, a side note, but we're just adding different LDAP values in here so we can see them. Okay, now we're gonna save that. Uh, value already exists. Okay, so, oh, I already have I already have them entered. There we go, yes, so they're the, entered there. Okay, so I did this before. So anyway, that's how we enter them. So now we have them entered. Now, if we come over to our domain controller, in order to see those, you're gonna have to go to view and click advanced features. So that turns the advanced features on, because over here, I'll turn it off. Turn events features off. If I go to users and my name, I don't have any place here where I can see these extra additional values. So if I go to view advanced features, then go here to users, then I get this attribute editor tab, which is similar to that LDAP, LDAP tag thing. But here we go. We can come down and look for our uh, proxy addresses. Here we go. Proxy addresses. There they are. One, two. So now we've added those. Sometimes it's easier for me to use this LDAP tool than it is to come to Active Directory here, open the user, go to Attribute Editor, 
scroll down, uh, you know, find proxy addresses, and then click the new one and click add, then go, okay, okay, okay. Where the other here, I just, I can just edit entry, automatically go to the bottom. I know I want to add a proxy address and boom, just add it. I don't have to go and bundle around. I'm, I'm all about less mouse clicks. Um, is so much better <laughs> for me when I'm trying to do things quickly and get things done. But so that's kind of how we edit uh, Active Directory with the this free LDAP tool. There is also um, a tool in Windows that's called ASDI Edit, which is Microsoft's uh, LDAP tool, which kind of does the same thing. You can uh, click Properties, and it has a list of values, and you can edit them. Can I get to the proxy? Here we go, proxy addresses, and I can edit that. It brings up the same dialog window as before, but I kind of you can't like just jump to the end and add one like the other LDAP tool does. So, um, but this is how you can get to it, and you can also see the containers here, and you can you know. So if you're trying to type something in, you can see the container name right there, and be able to put it in if you're doing some LDAP authentication. And stuff which you can also do here you can see uh, the this has the copy to clipboard so that allows me to quickly copy that object to the clipboard so this distinguished name here if I'm using that to do something it's much easier to go copy this to clipboard and then try and remember and go okay that's what it looks like because there's no copy to clipboard here there's you know you have to bring it up and see there's no that's no copy to clipboard. So that's where this tool makes it much easier. You're doing this all the time. I need to copy this and put it into a authentication to a router, authentication to a switch or something else that's using LDAP. Then I can just use that quickly, easy copy that and paste it into the object that I'm editing and working on. Okay, so there you go. That's kind of what I do to use and connect to um, Active Directory with an LDAP tool that's pretty handy and free. So there we go. I'm all about free tools. So um, if you have any other things that you use or any other questions about how to edit LDAP, uh, things like that, or, or work with it, um, just go ahead and comment below. Make sure to subscribe to all, not just my channel, but all the small channels that you watch so that we can build a community and be able to, you know, tell YouTube, don't forget about the small creator. Thank you. All right. Well, thanks for watching this one. Take care.